Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. My name is Nick and today we're checking out The Duck Game by James Cox III. And if you guys know the Indie Impressions series, you'll know that a big staple of this series is I like to do weird games. This would be no exception. Uh, the, the Duck Game, I mean right there, that should give it away for you. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to get into here. I have a feeling it has something to do with a duck and a... I don't know, a very sad individual who wants to hang out with that duck a lot. So let's start it up. And we've got a little bit of reading to do. So, I had been off the duck so long that I forgot what it felt like. I didn't need the duck. I just wanted to hold the duck just one last time. That's how it always starts, am I right? Alright, so we're this dude here. Looks like he's out of some old adventure game. I could call it cold turkey and press escape to escape my urge. Okay. So we're going to wander through our somewhat dilapidated looking apartment. Here's like a crack and crap coming down the walls. The carpet looks like it's kind of moldy or gross. Uh, so what, could, what harm could one more duck holding really do? That's what we're calling him. We're calling him duck holding. I kept it in my closet. All I needed to do was press space. And there it was in all its ducky glory. I itched to press space. Oh god, it had been too long. I press space to soar. What if I don't press space to soar and I just walk off the screen? Is that an option? Oh wow, it lets you keep walking. I guess not a lot of people do that. What's over here to this side? Anything? No, just an invisible wall. Alright, let's press best space to soar. And off we go to Crazy Pants Land. Where there are other ducks, and small floating islands, and some sort of a strange plaid background. So let's soar. See what's up here. Can I go on this island? No. So I suppose ducks are some sort of metaphor here for... Like, really hard drugs or something. Uh, I think that's the kind of obvious thing that's going on. What's up with this? Can I go stand on this? I can. I can only stand on some of the islands. I guess most of them don't support my weight. Uh, so I'm going to make my way over to the side here and see if there's something worth seeing. Uh, this sort of level of zaniness is actually reminding me a little bit of uh, Toe Jam and Earl. Wow, that one looks like it should totally support my weight, but it doesn't. And uh, we've got some, like, confetti spots... And random squares, rectangles showing up. What's this? The golden duck? I forgot how strange it was. Or maybe how strange it wasn't. Yeah, maybe when he came back to reality it wasn't that strange anymore. Regardless, I had broken the duck seal. That's a weird thing to say. So you're gonna remind me I can quit cold turkey. Uh, let's look at our character here. It looks like he hasn't been sleeping very much. It looks like his pants might be sagging a little bit. So uh, His arm looks like it's maybe sweaty. I don't know. It was still in the closet where I left it. And there it was, an old stucky glory edge to press space. Okay. I mean, how much harm could a second time do? Look at the windows now got like some snot in it or something, and the hole has opened up to be a bigger crack. So there is actually some sort of a progression here. And by the way, I quite like the music playing off in the background. Very strange. Alright, so the ducks now have... Well, that one has hair, it looks like. Oh, I can't fly this time. I can only jump and then slowly fall. But that's okay, I guess, because there seems to be land under me. Controls are nice and simple in this one. I mean, it's really just left and right and spacebar. So, shouldn't have much trouble with that. Of course, I still managed to miss... And I guess... Oh, something bad might have happened there. Whoa, whoa, there's an eagle man. Or I guess he's probably a duck man. I was kind of hoping he was an eagle man. I missed that island as well. Oh, it looks like I can... No, okay, I thought I could Pac-Man my way around and get back to the other side. What's going on with you, man? You don't look so good. Did that always happen? I remember more flying. Maybe third time's the charm. Alright, let's see what kind of ducky adventure we can go on this time. So there's like... Actual ooze all over the walls. Some sort of a blue... Goo forming on the ground. 
the snot in his windowsill has turned into like its own sort of organism now. But yet the duck remains unchanging. He's getting more pale too. Whoa! I fell through the floor. I don't think I was supposed to do that. Or was I? Alright, things are getting weird now. Like they weren't weird before. Alright, I can't really fly at all. You guys getting like a Catherine vibe from this a little bit? I mean, a giant butt monster is gonna try and kill us all? Certainly hope not. Well, I can't reach the golden duck. Because I can't fly at all. Oh. These guys are falling into a pit of acid or something. I guess I'll jump in there too. Why not? Oh yeah, he doesn't look good at all. What now? The duck's gone. This guy's having a rough time. Where are we gonna go? Back to bed. Oh no! I could have quit at any time. But I didn't. I kept playing the duck game. <laughs> and doomed my character. That was the duck game, boys and girls. That was quite a strange little experience. Uh, I'm wondering if you can do anything else. I guess just quit, but I mean, it's not going to like have repercussions for your character if you're not playing the game, I assume. I'm uh, pretty sure that would be some sort of augmented reality situation. That was actually surprisingly more interesting than I expected. I thought it was going to be uh, super irreverent, and I guess it kind of was, but it also seemed like it was grounded in uh, symbology, symbolism. Uh, so that, yeah, the duck game, I guess, don't do hard drugs. Um, uh, probably a good lesson to take away from this, if we were to take away any lesson. Um, I always do enjoy the strange, strange places that we can go in the realm of indie games. There are not a lot of other ways that we can have an experience such as this. I mean, if you were to read this in a storybook, it would not come across the same way as if you got to actually control the character with your fingers and tell him to jump in that little pit of acid and reach his absolute bottom point. I would like to see this game a little bit more fleshed out, if possible. Maybe uh, introduce a little bit of backstory around this character. Uh, maybe show the reper repercussions of him getting all ducked out at the end and ducking out of reality, I suppose. Um, see what you know the people around him have to say about his habit. Maybe he could have some kind of a wacky situation where before he's too addicted to the duck, maybe he brings a girl back to his apartment or something, and he she finds the duck in the closet, and maybe they both end up doing the duck together, and now I guess I'm recreating a scene from Breaking Bad. I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to do that. That'll happen. Um, yeah, anyway, if you're a fan, shout out to you. Um, so that is going to do it for the Duck Game. Surprisingly short episodes. Sometimes we got to do those, though, because it's worth covering these really weird games occasionally. And they're usually pretty short. Although, I do like to find them when they're a bit longer. I, I wish that would happen more often. Anyway, that's going to do it. As always, remember to head on over to the website, which is indie-impressions.com, so you can check out every episode in the entire series. They are categorized, they are sorted by tags. You can check them out by all the distribution platforms, by payment style. Uh, if you have a favorite indie developer, you can feel free to type them into the search box. And if you're just wondering, hey, has Rockley Smile ever covered this game on the channel? Well, if you want to go over to that website, type it in the search box. That is the quickest way to find out. I guess you could do that on YouTube as well, but, you know, do it over on the website. It's more fun. You know, more stuff to look at anyway. Um, so aside from the website, though, if you want to uh, visit the forums there as well, that would be a great time. Maybe meet some other people. Uh, that are into indie games the way you might be. And then when you're done over there, head on over to facebook.com slash indie impressions. Leave a like on that if you choose, and you'll get every day's new video delivered into your Facebook stream, as well as the occasional news update or contest. And if you're an indie developer and you'd like to request your game for possible showcasing on the show, uh, hit me up on Twitter at at RockleySmile, or send me an email on the contact form on the website. And all my social media links are available right in the description of this video, as well as the download link for this game. So if you'd like to go click around in there for a bit, I'm sure you will find some interesting stuff if you haven't already. So thank you so much for watching, guys. As always, remember to come back again tomorrow for another awesome indie game. I'm not sure it'll be as weird as this one, but I'll do my best. So I'll leave you with that, and I hope you have a lovely night. And if you are thinking about holding a duck, you might want to think again. Now we know.
Talk to you later.